Hey everyone, in this video I'll show you how to make an A-stable oscillator with just a single op-amp, a few resistors, and a capacitor. The 555 timer is quite popular and can be used to generate a square wave among other things. I made a video about that a while ago and you can go check it out if you're interested. But what if you don't have one laying around? Or maybe you have a spare op amp in your circuit, but you would rather not add another IC. That's where this circuit comes in. It combines positive feedback and negative feedback that gets delayed by a capacitor that has to get charged through a resistor. To understand how this works, let's start by imagining that the capacitor is completely discharged. This means that the inverting input is at zero volts. This voltage divider brings the not inverting input to one half VCC. Because this is higher than the not inverting input, the output goes high. At this point, the positive feedback increases the previous voltage to two thirds VCC, which doesn't change anything, but the capacitor starts charging. Once the capacitor voltage exceeds two thirds VCC, the output goes low. This brings the not inverting input to one third VCC through the feedback resistor and the capacitor starts discharging. When the capacitor voltage falls under one third VCC, the output goes back high and the cycle continues over and over. What all this means is that the frequency is dependent on the capacitor and the value of the resistor. For example, with a 47 microfarad cap and a 10K resistor, I measure a period of about 670 milliseconds or 0.67 seconds. This gives a frequency of more or less 1.5 Hz. If you're wondering what the theoretical maximum frequency of this thing is, let's consider a rise time of about 16 microseconds and a similar fall time. With a few calculations, this gives us 31 kHz. This number is totally unrealistic, however. I found that at 10 kHz, it still has a decent square wave shape. And yes, I know it's pretty terrible, but notice that the title didn't say how to make an insanely fast oscillator. And in case you're wondering what these little bumps are, they're caused by the strain inductances in the wire wound resistors. So now you know how to make an A-stable oscillator using only a spare op amp and a few components. I hope this video was useful and entertaining. If you have any doubts or questions, write them in the comments. I'll read them all and try to answer. Leave a like if you like the video and subscribe if you want to see more. That always helps a lot. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.